picture of it? Um, sure. Yeah, why not? library in one because more good books is definitely one of the um one of the stores listed oh. hi viewers this is me Sade, and i'm the one that recorded this vlog of our day trip to the hobart book village which is located in hobart new york and hobart new york is a part of the catskills in upstate new york we visited on a Sunday in January 2022, and the setting of outside definitely fit the mood of this very themed uh, day trip and village. Uh, it was winter, snow was still outside, there was a chill in the air. So a bookshop such as More Good Books, which was our first stop, you know, definitely gave that very cozy, um, away from the chilly air, you know, sanctuary. Um, I love the setup of it. It was just very welcoming. And More Good Books is actually connected to the Book Nook, which is a children's community library. You actually step into the Book Nook first, and then More Good Books is, you know, right there. Um, I will say that I was very impressed with the selections um, all throughout the Book Nook. You know, lots of diverse titles and characters and authors. And I point this out because uh, Hobart, New York, uh, most of its residents are white slash Caucasian. So to see a book, you know, about, you know, LGBT plus history, you know, the YA novel, The Hate You Give, I thought that was really cool and so important and um I guess in some little way, I was like proud to see that even though, you know, Hobart is kind of in a little world of its own, there's still expanded minds through the books that they offer, which is what every great bookstore, um, I think, intends to do. And during our day trip to the Hobart Book Village, we visited almost all of the shops. The only one we didn't get to see and step into and peruse was Quarry Books. And their focus are mystery novels and suspense novels. Uh, unfortunately for us, that one closed early. It's the very last one. You'll see it towards the end of this vlog. And I had a really cute setup too. So I was super bummed about it because um, I also wanted to get a book from each shop or at least something, an item. And I think I did. Um, I will say maybe there was one I did it. It might have been the Antiquarian uh, bookshop, which is funny because I saw books that I would have honestly given a chance, but I, I had already read them. <laughs> uh, so, but I definitely, I certainly, certainly tried to show um, some love and give business to each, the each shop in the Hobart Book Village. And, oh yes, um, something that the really kind lady in more good book shared was that while the winter season can be slow especially post Christmas which was when we visited um, once you know spring and summer come around the foot traffic is you know crazy and wonderful people definitely come through and visit and you know do a lot of shoppings and I was happy to hear um, about you know to hear that from her just because again 
they're very much in their own little world in space. I mean, this is super upstate New York. This isn't like White Plains, which is like an hour outside of like the Bronx, New York. This is like super upstate. Like I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> we are so not near New York City, let alone the five boroughs. But again, it was wonderful to see something different. And, you know, it's just this unique village that I found out about online. Um, I love books, love bookshops. So uh, once my friend and I became aware of it, we knew we had to stop by and see for ourselves. what is this book that you just found? This is my autobiography. <sighs> Care to read the title out loud? Peck's Bad Boy and his PA. <laughs> Open up a page, step, let's see. Step, in, step into my world. Oh. Mm -hmm. Peck's Bad Boy. That red binding is cool, like the cover and everything. It's intentional. <laughs> From vintage literature. Yes, Queen. Mm. What is it? Like, I know it says the Gutenberg Bible, but I'm like, what is like a short version of it? I guess. Hmm. recipes on cookery and house cookery 1902 wow. <laughs> oh what a lovely cover The midday meal. Sweetbreads. Three sweetbreads, egg, and breadcrumbs, oil, butter, three slices of toast, brown gravy. That sounds nice. It's kind of good. It's so funny because it's like I'm looking for measurements Ooh, butter and cheese i know and it's like taste take milk fresh from the cow strain it into clean pans that's phenomenal <laughs> walnut cake oh my god they do have look at it oh what's it say um madeleines one half cup butter creamed one cup sugar gradually beaten into the butter one tablespoon wine added yolks of four eggs well beaten half cup sweet milk 
one and a half cups of flour with a teaspoon baking powder added. Bake in pans three quarter inch thick. After it is baked, cut into shapes about three quarters inch. Long and a long and two and a half wide. Ice all over, putting nuts or candied fruit on the frosting. This is really... We've got a lot of books in this section. Like all together. There's a All My Children Complete Family Scrapbook. Yes. <laughs> oh, they have playbills. That's so funny. Look, Avenue oh. Q. I love collecting playbills. Yes, Queen. Divorcing a narcissist fuckface. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mom, get it out. Get it out. We'll get it all out. I think these are vinyl records here. <laughs> There's a little doll here. <laughs> We're here. Hi. This little sweater, I can't. Oh, blueberries for Sal. <laughs> Nancy Drew and the women who created her. Ooh, that sounds really cool. Mm -hmm. I remember trying to get into Nancy Drew.
This is a really nice setup too. They have the Rails cookbook. Ooh. Ooh, Russian tea. I still have to see it. You haven't seen it? I have not seen it on the street oh yet. Oh my gosh, I have. It's a documentary and I've been wanting to for years. I meant to see it in the movie theater. I just couldn't make it. That was sad when he passed away. Why is this look like Judge Judy? I'm like, is it her though? <laughs> mm. Oh my god, Naomi! Mm, she's so, well, well, she isn't famous. Isn't she an actress? It has to be the name somewhere. Karen Alexander Dear Elliot. Oh, it's Karen Alexander. She looks like what's that? I, what's the uh, actress I'm thinking of? Cute. Oh my oh. goodness, I love it. I love it. 